In this video, I'm going to show you how to access Twitter analytics. Now, Twitter does a really good job hiding some of their most amazing tools such as advanced search and Twitter analytics. So, as you can see, I'm logged into my account that has not gotten the new profile update yet, but I know it's uh it's on its way. So, the way to access them is to go over here to your gear shift settings, click on that and click on Twitter ads. Doesn't make sense, that's why we haven't found it yet, right? So this brings you to your ads dashboard. So even if you don't have ads, I haven't, I don't have ads yet, I'm going to, I will make another video, I promise. Um, this is where you access your analytics. So go ahead and click on, or watch me click on analytics, and let's check out tweet activity first. Now this is really cool because uh, it's loading right now. But as you can see, you can download it into Excel, and up top here is your mentions. So you can kind of see when you're most popular. You know, if you have, uh, on March 27th, I was pretty popular for some reason. So um, I can look back and say, okay, what did I do March 27th to be popular? Um, the blue line here in the middle shows your followers, and the pink line on the very bottom shows unfollows. Now, I used to be really offended when people unfollowed me, but then I realized a lot of accounts follow a bunch of people to get them to follow back, and then they unfollow them. So... It really doesn't bother me anymore. My line keeps going up, and I will show you followers in a moment. But um, that's that for now. Um, now, on the bottom is really cool. So this shows your recent tweets, and it has them categorized under best, good, and all. So right now, we're looking at all. And it shows how many, uh, if you have a link, how many clicks there were, how many people added it to their faves, retweeted, or replied to it. And then it also shows you, and this is shown in your good and best, but it shows you, uh, compared to your standard tweets, um, how well this performed compared to them. So um, you can just kind of scroll down and take a look through those. So now if we take a look at good, those will show tweets that are in the top two-thirds of your tweets with the level of engagement. So these are in the top two-thirds. Now this is this is amazing. 170 times my normal reach. Okay, and here are two. These are two words. A couple words in here. So trending, top trending, and 2014 or whatever the current year is. These are vital words if you want to get retweeted in the marketing world. Top trending 2014. That's what you can post and. You're going to get some hits on that. See, I had four clicks to the link. I had two faves, two retweets, four clicks. That makes sense. But there are some that I had, look, I had zero clicks, and people just added to their faves, retweeted, without even looking at the link. That could have been garbage. Who knows? Always check out links before you retweet them, because that's, that's your reputation, you know. You know, keep an eye on that. So now we take a look at the best, and this shows the top 15% of tweets with some level of engagement with your followers, and it shows you the best ones. And, and it's always interesting, so three times my normal reach, but this is one of the top that had the most faves and had a couple of retweets. Um, this one, there's no, I, I don't fully understand this, but most faves, Lots of retweets, but no uh, advanced reach there. But 10 clicks, 10 clicks to that link. That's awesome. Uh, you know, for me, for measly old me. So this is just really handy. And this can be a great tool if you want to know what your followers, followers are interested in. You can always copy and retweet this, not in the same day. I mean, maybe you can, but, you know, space it out because obviously your followers like this kind of information and chances are a good percentage of them did not see it the first time. So if you want to bump up your engagement, you can copy, retweet, and you're good to go. So next we're going to look at followers. 
And this is a great way to, if you have to, uh, you know, show upper management or some kind of superior how much work you've been putting into your Twitter account. So as you can see, about a year and a half ago, I was about 190 followers. And so as time went on, I've been working harder and harder and growing my audience, especially over the last month. The last month, I've um, I've just about doubled my followers. So that's something to show, you know, that, that shows your work. It shows that even though I get all these unsubscribes every day, my subscriber base is growing. My followers are growing. Um, over here to the left, you'll see interests. Here's your most unique interests of your followers, the top five. And then uh, below that is the top ten interests of your followers. So these are things that if you know, if you want to grow your Twitter base, you want to get more engagement with your followers, these are the things to tweet about. Hashtag business, hashtag finance, hashtag leadership, hashtag marketing, and so on. These are things that my followers are interested in. Uh, next, location. I live in the U.S., so obviously 62% of my followers are also from the U.S. That makes sense. Um, top city, Seattle. I don't live very far from Seattle. That makes sense too. But, you know, other media cities, and that's what I tend, well, I tend to tweet about business, leadership, marketing. So, uh, you know, these, these cities, that's where, uh, they're the top cities where my followers are from. Gender. This caught me uh, off guard. I had no idea that nearly 80% of my followers are men. Um, and then only 22% are female. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Maybe I want to tailor my tweets to appeal more to a male audience. Or maybe I want to grow my female audience so I want to reach out more to females and grow my audience that way. Either way, you can build an amazing strategy with these analytics. And another thing to look at is who your followers also follow. So I know I follow all or most if not all of these people. It's just something to keep in mind. So if I follow these people as well, I can retweet what they're tweeting and my followers are going to they're going to engage in that because they follow these people as well. So it just gives you a good idea of who to follow, who to interact with, so you can make better moves on Twitter. Uh, Twitter cards, that is for, uh, as part of advertising, and I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm getting there, not yet. I will make a video, I promise it's going to be amazing. Um, so just go ahead and skip Twitter cards for now. Uh, last is websites, and this I am new to. I will admit that I, I'm still learning. I do have my website added to there, not, uh, maybe, over the past two weeks or so. It's super easy. Just click add website, um, follow the instructions. They have a piece of code that you pop into your website. Um, if you have WordPress, they've got a little code that you put into your WordPress um, settings or um, HTML that you put in the header of your website. However you do it, they guide you through it. It's super easy. If you can run a website, you can add it to Twitter. I guarantee it. So uh, I'm just going to click on this website, and I've gotten growth, and I, I'm going to tell you straight up, I don't really understand what all of this means. It was my understanding that these are tweets that lead to links, or you know, clicks to my website, but as you can see, there's no tweets showing up, so I don't, maybe it's other people tweeting, I, I really... I couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. But I can tell you. You can adjust the time period right here. You can select today. Just click update. Boom. There we go. And that's probably tweets from my uh, my blog post. Um, yesterday, it kind of, yeah, kind of went a little crazy with my uh, new Twitter uh, update uh, post. So, 
sorry I can't be more help with this when I understand a little bit more I will fill you in but I hope this analytics overview was helpful don't forget to check out my blog at sallyu.com subscribe to my YouTube channel find me on the Twitters at Sally Ulianich. I got links from all over the place so you'll be able to find me and have a great day thanks so much for tuning in appreciate it